Hi, in this lecture I'm going to briefly talk about what a hypothesis is and how to specify the variables in your study and including the definitions for independent and dependent variables. So we'll talk about how to form a hypothesis and how to specify what the independent and dependent variable are for your study. What is a hypothesis? Let's start there. The hypothesis is a testable prediction about empirical reality that specifies a relationship between two or more variables. So when I talk about empirical reality, basically that's some sort of process or event or characteristic that's out there in, in society that you can observe um, through standard research methods, whether it's surveys or observations. Uh, it's something that you can document and, and um, count or uh, make notes of in, in your data collection process. So it's basically something that's out there that it, it represents a, a, it's a statement, and it's a, it's a statement that makes a prediction about how, how, how one factor is related to another factor or how one event might be um, influence a, another event. But let me give you a, a specific example of a, of a, of a research, both a, re a research question and a hypothesis, because a hypothesis is uh, based on, um, or is, a, is formed based on uh, what your research question is. So you have to sort of come up with a research question before you can specify a hypothesis, um, you know, something to predict. Let's take this uh, research question, which was posed in a, a study that was published in the American Journal of Public Health in 2013. This, this study asked the question, is there a relationship between the level of firearm ownership among state households and the, and f the rate of homicide at the state level? So are, is there a relationship between how many households in a state own guns and the, and, the, uh, and the level, the rate at which homicides occur in that state? Um, so that's your research question. Uh, if you might hypothesize uh, based on existing theory or prior research that, that states that have higher levels of gun ownership will have higher fire, firearm homicide rates. So that might be a testable prediction that you could answer through collection of administrative and, and state level data about um, the estimates about the proportion of households that have guns and, and using cr um, crime records to document the, the rate of homicides within a state. And you can see whether the two factors are related to one another. So a hypothesis is, is a testable prediction. And here we're predicting that higher levels of gun ownership will be associated with higher rates of homicides within states. Now once you have a hypothesis, a hypothesis usually specifies a relationship between two variables. So what exactly is a, a variable? A variable is any characteristic or property that can take on different values or attributes. So one of the most basic variables in our society is, is sex or gender. Um, and we define there's two potential um, characteristics or attributes on this variable. Uh, there's male and female. Um, so usually in, in most social research studies, uh, you're, you're collecting information from both men and women. And so um, one of the variables in your study uh, that you might collect information on is, is whether the, um, the person that you're observing is a male or a female, and that might be something that you note in a, in a survey or in your ethnographic notes. Um, uh, examples, uh, it's not so much of a social research variable, but another example of a variable is something like eye color. Um, people, people vary in the color of their eyes and the color of their hair. Um, the, it's a, it's, eye color is a, is a, is a, is a property of, 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 some, of a person that can take on different, um, attribu uh, different, different attributes. And the opposite of a variable is a constant. And a constant is something that's uh, the, the same for every, um, every, every person. So uh, if you, some, something like sex can be a constant if, if you're conducting a study among women, uh, gender will be a constant in, in your study because your study is limited to women. So everybody 
in your study uh, can only be a woman, thus sex will not vary between the different people in the study. Um, so a variable is basically anything that can take on different values, uh, something like age. People that you collect information on uh, might vary in their age. One person might be 20 years old, one person might be 35, another person might be 65. Uh, so age, um, people vary at which the date that they were born, and so it's something that might uh, differ between people in your study. When you're forming a hypothesis, you're usually specifying a relationship between an independent and a dependent variable. The independent variable is a variable that's hypothesized to cause or explain variation in another variable. You can think of the independent variable as the influencer, the variable that influences another variable. Um, think of the independent variable as the influencer, the variable that causes or explains variation in another variable. Um, and the variable that the independent variable influences is usually referred to as the dependent variable. And the dependent variable is hypothesized to vary depending on the influence of another variable. Um, so the independent variable is the influencer. The dependent variable is a consequence. So the, influen the independent variable usually um, has an impact on or uh, is hypothesized to have an effect on the dependent variable. Um, so one variable you can think of as the cause, another variable you can think of as the, the independent variable you can think of as the cause, dependent variable you can think of as the effect. The independent variable has an influence on the dependent variable. In a hypothesis, you're usually specifying a relationship between an independent and a dependent variable. Um, so in the, in the prior uh, research question that we discussed, we asked, is there a relationship between levels of household firearm ownership and the homicide rates at a state level. And we hypothesize that U.S. states with higher levels of gun ownership will have higher firearm homicide rates. Based on that hypothesis, the independent variable, the influencer in our study is household gun ownership, and the dependent variable is the state homicide rate. Thus, we hypothesize that the independent variable, household gun ownership, will have an influence on or affect the dependent variable, the state homicide rate. Another way to think about it is that homicide rates are the, th are the thing that we're trying to explain, and gun ownership is something that we think contributes to or um, explains variation in state homicide rates. Different states have different, homic different rates of homicide and household, the level of household gun ownership might be a factor that explains why some states have higher levels of homicide rates uh, than others.